I constantly field questions about blackfish rigging and I'm very concerned about blackfish failure points. We often talk about the Belmar rig and it's very often confused with what a Belmar rig actually is. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes today and show you how to do that. We're gonna start off tying a slider rig. Everybody Snell's hooks their own way. Whatever works for you, however you Snell it is just fine. For a slider rig, I'm gonna put the hook straight down and it's gonna nest just perfectly like that. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna tie a perfection loop. I usually like my rigs to be about 14 inches long or so in our area in Cape May. If there's a whole lot of current, I'll shorten that up to maybe 10. If there's less current, maybe I'll go up to about 16. So this is the slider rig, or you could use a single hook rig, whatever is more comfortable for you. So the Belmar rig is actually a way to connect your leadered hook into your main line for black fishing. It's an extremely strong connection uh, with no hardware. You start off with a, a section of double line like this, and you can make this section of line between like 12 inches. If you're in a really sticky, nasty piece, I might make this six feet long if I'm dropping down inside of a barge or something. For most cases, I'm gonna make this about a foot and a half long. I'm gonna go up here to the top, and I'm going to tie a two-turn spider hitch. I'm gonna go around two fingers, then I'm gonna go around one finger, and then I'm gonna drop the end of the double line back through itself. It's just a really short two-turn spider hitch. You could also do a double surgeon's loop if you want right there, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hang our sinker from it. And this is to keep both legs of this double line perfectly even. We want them to be very even and straight. We don't want one a little bit longer than the other because that will cause this to kind of loosen up a little bit. And then when you're dropping your weight to the bottom, sometimes the, weight, the bait will come up here and get between the legs of the Belmar rig. So we don't want that. So, so far so good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie in our slider rig into this double line. So I'm gonna fold the double. I'm normal, Traditionally, I'm gonna come up four fingers. I'm gonna fold that double line over. I'm gonna take my slider rig or single hook or whatever you want. And I'm gonna take this folded double line and I'm gonna put it right through the perfection loop on my, on my rig hook. I'm gonna take my hooks, pass it through the loop at a double line. I'm gonna snug that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my sinker and my double line and I'm just gonna tie two overhand loops around the snelled hook. I'm gonna crank on it a little bit, get it nice and tight, make sure everything's locked in. If it doesn't lock in nice and straight, you can just pull that leader hook. It sticks out real nice at a 90 degree angle. And that is your Belmar rake.